Welcome back to The Daily Mastermind. My name is George Wright III with your daily dose of inspiration, motivation, and education. I hope you had an amazing weekend. It is uh, pretty crazy here in Utah. You, you've got um, you know 96 degree weather and then 66 degree weather. I'm trying to figure out what kind of season we got going here. But I have something today I want to talk to you about, and it's the power of gratitude. And uh, I'm so thankful for all the, you know, the blessings and things that I have in my life and all the people, the individuals, the opportunities, and I hope you are as well. Um, but, you know, I want to talk to you about what is gratitude and why do, why do so many thought leaders talk so much about having a gratitude practice? Well, you know, I've learned over, over time in my life that gratitude can be a pretty amazing strategy. You can use it um, you know, to eliminate stress, anxiety, depression, or even insomnia at times. But uh, more importantly, you know, it's an excellent practice to just increase your overall happiness and your fulfillment in your life. So let's talk a little bit about this, and let's talk about some of the benefits of gratitude and ways that it can be cultivated in your life, how you can increase your levels of gratitude in your life. And uh, so let's see here. You know, I think it's important to first just kind of note that um, gratitude actually has, you know, at least from what I've experienced, much deeper meaning than just being thankful for what you have. There's actually two parts to being grateful or gratitude. The first part is this appreciation or recognition for things, you know, benefits, gifts, stuff that you have in your life. And the second part is this acknowledgement that these things are from something outside of yourself and, and you're willing to give back and express gratitude, okay? So, you know, we talk about being grateful for things uh, that you have in your life and kind of listing those out, but we also talk about expressing your gratitude. And there are two different parts, but they're two very important parts. So why, why is it so important that we adopt and live this attitude of gratitude, as my dad used to say to me all the time growing up, you got to have an attitude of gratitude in your life. Well, I think it's important to have this understanding of gratitude um, and, and have it in your life because it's not just an emotion that we experience or, or uh, let's say an attitude that you have in your life. Gratitude literally causes changes in your life. Gratitude, you know, they've shown that it causes changes in your brain. And it can affect all the areas of your life in a real positive way. So it's important that you're trying to create, um, you know, this attitude of gratitude because in order to create an amazing life, you know, and, and, and while you're dealing with stress and anxiety and, you know, negative emotions or situations or experience that happen in your life, you need to have a strategy of something that can help you with that. And gratitude can do that. You know, scientists have shown in in brain scans they've actually done studies and they've done these brain scans that there are, they've shown that there's these specific areas of your brain that are affected when you participate in acts or emotions of gratitude that's in your neocortex and these chemical reactions that occur they actually can reduce your level I mean they've they've actually proven this that they can reduce your levels of stress anxiety depression lower insomnia, but it can also cause an increased sensitivity to future experiences of gratitude. So this, this shows that the more you practice and experience gratitude, the more you'll actually benefit from it as a strategy in your life. So what I did is I, I made a little note here, and, and I have, uh, there's seven benefits that I think you can gain. There's probably a ton more, but I wrote down this morning while I was working out, I just wrote down seven benefits that you can gain from practicing or using this power of gratitude. The first one is abundance and attraction. Now, I've always said that what you focus on grows. So when you practice gratitude, you're going to attract more of these positive emotions and energy and even positive experiences into your life. And this will lead to more motivation. And that motivation and drive because of these positive experiences will help you to accomplish your goals. So abundance and, and attraction is the first one. The second one I had was simply the attitude and mindset. Um, one of the most important resources an entrepreneur, I, I know at least I've found, can have in business is a positive attitude. 
Um, but an attitude of gratitude can also help you to reduce that stress and anxiety and depression I was mentioning before, which ultimately will help you deal with situations and problems that arise in your business and your day-to-day life. So that attitude and that mindset, in addition to the abundance and attraction, is a key benefit of gratitude. The third benefit is your perspective and your filter. I talk about this a lot. Having a positive attitude is critical to, um, to, your, to your business and to your life, but gratitude can also change your perspective when you're identifying and overcoming with challenges. You know, Dr. Wayne Dyer, one of my favorite quotes, he says, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. And I truly believe this. I, I, I can tell you from experience that when you have gratitude in your life, you, you see situations in a totally different light. You're, you're starting from solution, not scarcity or problem. You're more patient. You're more understanding. You're more capable of creating solutions, right? So this will lead you to more success, more results, better execution in your business, your, your relationships, your life overall. So your perspective and filter, absolutely a benefit. The fourth one is your happiness and your health. They kind of go hand in hand. The positive effects of gratitude on your health, your happiness, and your immune system are proven by science. And, uh, you know, these, these studies, these scientific studies have shown that individuals practicing gratitude have stronger immune systems, they have a better quality of sleep, they're happier overall, and I believe happiness comes from wanting what you have rather than having what you want. And that is so much easier to do when you practice gratitude regularly. So your happiness and your health level, definitely a direct correlation and benefit. Number five, inspiration and influence. More and more thought leaders are acknowledging that in order to create a better quality of life, you, you, you can have more impact on others, and that'll help to increase your quality of life. And it'll, it'll be, you're, making, you're feeling like you're making a difference, I guess is the best way to put that. Um, you know, practicing gratitude and serving others is an excellent way to inspire and to influence other people. If you have kids, practicing gratitude will help you to inspire them. It also is a great way to help take the focus off yourself. You know, when we get focused on problems and things in our life and stuff, sometimes the best solution is to focus on other people. And so when you practice gratitude, service, acknowledgement, you know, and, and you know, accepting the positives you have in your life, it helps to take that focus, that magnifying glass off the bad things that are happening. So inspiration and influence of others is a real key benefit. The sixth idea I had was leadership development. You know, by serving other people and creating impact, you'll also be able to develop yourself as a leader because true leaders and true leadership comes from setting an example of what you want other people to emulate around you. And if, if you truly want to surround yourself with positive, happy people, then the best way to do this is to practice and be an example of gratitude. And then, you know, people around you will practice the same. So becoming a leader and developing as a leader is really important um, to have that attitude of gratitude. And the seventh, and probably the most important one here, is stronger relationships. The quality of your life is going to be in direct proportion to the quality of your relationships, and your relationships can, can significantly improve and be impacted by gratitude. You see, you know, most relationships struggle when these negative emotions come into play, like envy and jealousy and cynicism or even anger or narcissism, and gratitude has been shown to create and attract positive emotions like we talked about, and it will it'll shift your average person into a more positive state, the words they use, the actions they have, it results in more expressions of love, compassion, positivity, encouragement. All of these things lead to stronger relationships. And so that's the, that's the seventh benefit. So let me review those again real quick for you. Seven benefits of having an attitude practice. Abundance and attraction, attitude and mindset, perspective, health and happiness, inspiration and influence, Uh, leadership development, and strong relationships. These are just a few of the many benefits that you can receive by adopting and practicing gratitude. It's an amazing strategy. So remember, there are mental, there are emotional, and there are even physical benefits of gratitude in your life when you choose to focus on that positive, powerful emotion. So let me just give you a few ideas and strategies of how you can cultivate or grow more gratitude. Things I've done to become more grateful in my life. You can try a few and, and just add a few of these to your daily, your daily routine. Try to get it into your daily practice. 
So um, one idea would be to engage in acts of service, uh, practicing your gratitude, right? Another idea would be to write thank you notes. Um, I know one of my partners, Don Pendleton, has always got a couple of thank you cards in his, in his briefcase because he'll just write thank you notes when he thinks about it. Don't wait till you get around to it. Another idea would be to keep a gratitude journal. Another idea, you know, write down every day three or four things that you're thankful for. There's many, many free apps on your mobile phone, your smartphone you can use to do this. Another idea is to focus on key relationships. When you surround yourself with relationships and prioritize relationships, you're much more apt to be grateful in your life. And uh, another idea would be to express your appreciation to other people. When was the last time you told your partners how much you appreciate them? When was the last time you told, you know, your kids that you love them? When was the last time you told your significant other that they were important to you? Try to identify ways to express your appreciation. So those are my ideas and examples that I would give you. But here's the bottom line. I know we're out of, town, out of time, so I want you to try to identify a time in your day that you can literally create a practice of gratitude and and try some of these things and then put it into your daily routine, into your daily rituals. Find a way to keep that more consistent in your life, and I think you'll make you'll make some positive and impactful changes. I hope this topic is something that would uh, that's helped you. I hope you'll do me a favor; it'd mean the world to me if you just share this podcast, share this link to this podcast with you know somebody you feel like could benefit. Um, you know, some of the best ways to learn is to teach and to, to share these ideas with other people. So whether you share them or share the link, whatever I can do to assist, that's why I'm here. After all, it's never too late to start living the life that you were meant to live. And I believe gratitude can help you to do that. Anyway, that's my message for today. I hope you have an amazing day. My name is George Wright III, and this has been The Daily Mastermind. I'll talk with you soon.